Transportation is provided for the safety and convenience of students. Safety should be a cooperative effort between students and their bus drivers. Students are responsible for conducting themselves in an orderly and courteous manner on buses and at bus stops. Drivers are responsible for transporting students safely while in transit. In the event of an emergency, cooperation and correct actions are essential for efficient and safe exiting. This video will demonstrate the correct method for safely boarding, exiting, riding, and crossing in front of the bus. Safety begins at your bus stop. When you are waiting at your bus stop in the morning for the bus to come, please do not stand in the road, especially in intersections. We prefer that you use a driveway. Stay back at least six feet from the curb. Line up in a straight line. Have your book bags ready to get on the bus when it arrives. When boarding the bus, please be sure to use the handrail. Once you've entered the bus, no pushing or shoving is allowed. Please move quickly to a seat and sit down. If you choose to use seat belts, please match up the same color, black, tan, or red, and fasten them as shown in the video. There are 10 rules which riders must follow to safely ride the bus. These rules are listed on every bus on a large orange sticker which can be found in the front and sometimes the back of the bus. The first rule is you are to follow the directions of the bus driver. The second rule is you are to use courteous language, no profanity. You are to stay in your seats. You are to keep your head and all body parts inside the windows. You are not to eat or drink on the bus. Do not be destructive. Keep the bus clean. No smoking on the bus. No sharp objects. In addition, written permission is required to leave the bus at a stop other than your own. Those are the rules for, for riding the school bus. When it's time to exit the bus, please remain seated until the bus has come to a complete stop. Exit in an orderly manner no pushing or shoving and always use the handrail. Keep all loose papers in a book bag. Make sure your book bag is held in your hand and not slung over your shoulder. Be aware of any loose drawstrings on your clothing that may become entangled on the handrail or caught in the door. When you do exit the bus, immediately move away from the bus. If for some reason something falls underneath the bus, never try and reach underneath the school bus. If you must cross in front of the bus when you get to your stop, Please walk out far enough in front of the bus so that you can see the driver and the driver can see you. The driver will give you a signal to cross. He will point at you and point across the street. While going across the street, please look both ways. If at any time you hear the horn blowing, return to the other side. That means there is danger. Let's take a minute to briefly review the crossing procedure. Please walk out 15 feet in front of the bus. That's far enough so that you can see the driver and the driver can see you. Please wait for the driver's signal. The driver will point at you and then point across the street when it's safe to proceed. When you're crossing the street, don't just cross. Make sure you look both ways while you're crossing and make sure that the bus has its red flashing lights on. If at any time while you're crossing you hear the horn, Please go back. Remember, the horn means danger. In case we're involved in an accident and we have to evacuate the bus, some of the reasons we would evacuate would be if, if the bus was taking on smoke or there were a fire on the bus, if we were in water and the bus, there was a chance the bus would submerge, or we were in traffic and would be, there would be a chance that we would be hit by another vehicle. Those are the things that would cause us to evacuate the bus. But the safest place for us to be would to stay on the bus. 
If your driver instructs you to evacuate the bus in an emergency, the safest and fastest way to do so is by using the front door. There are also several other ways to exit the bus. There are two emergency exit doors, one located on the side, one in the back of the bus. To open these doors, you would lift up on the red handle and push out. There are two roof hatches on the bus, which can be opened by turning the red knob and pushing up. There are four emergency exit windows, which can be opened by pulling up on the red lever and pushing out. School buses are also equipped with the following safety devices. Red reflective triangles, which are usually stored in the back of the bus. Fire extinguishers are kept in the front of the bus, usually on the floor. First aid kits are located in the front of the bus, above the driver's head. In case of an accident, the first thing that I would do would be is to pick up my mic and call the base station. Let them know that I was involved in an accident. I would give them the bus number, the location of where we are, let them know if there were injuries and what type of assistance was needed. In an emergency, if your driver is unable to call in on the radio, one of the students will have to do so. You would pick up the microphone as shown, push the black button, and begin talking. When you call the bus garage, if you don't know the location, you can simply give the bus number and we will get you the help that you need. When exiting the school in the afternoon, you are not to run in the bus loop or in the walk loop. You are to stay on the right side of the yellow lines and you are not to walk between buses. What we've gone over today was the proper procedure for boarding the bus in the morning, fastening the seat belts once you are seated, exiting the bus at school, in the afternoon, exiting the bus at your stop, and properly crossing in front of the bus. Be cool, follow the bus rules. <laughs>